Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. Today I'm going to quickly show you how you can get NordVPN to work on COD, whether you're experiencing any lag issues or if you see that your ping is fluctuating a lot and you want to stabilize it, or if you just want to game with different regions, you can get NordVPN to work really well, but there are a few things that you have to keep in mind when operating the VPN, which is exactly why I've got the server locations pulled up here because, well, this actually matters and I'll get into all these details and I'm not only going to talk about Nord by the way in case you're interested in different alternatives there's also Surfshark and ExpressVPN these two VPNs are also great alternatives to Nord but today we're talking about how to get this to work essentially you'll be able to use the same techniques with any VPN the first thing that you want to do is download the VPN you can use the links below by the way if you end up getting any of them that'll help you save a little more money and once you've located the gaming server that you'd like to connect to of course the closer the gaming server to you the better connection that you're going to have you cannot connect to servers that are across the globe and expect to have good ping that's just not going to work so of course if it's a reaction heavy game like call of duty you want to keep it as close as possible but for something like a uh, not so reaction heavy kind of game like an MMORPG or something like that then you can probably expand your horizon a little bit more and I think since you can probably get by with 100 and 120 ping on MMORPGs you can play on a bigger radius but with games like Call of Duty your radius is just going to be smaller so in that light we're gonna assume that I'm in Iceland and the closest gaming server to Iceland is gonna be the Irish server as you can tell right here as well as the UK servers, so London, Manchester, and Irish servers. So, as you can tell, we do have all these servers available within the dedicated server location. So, in this case, I would just connect to, let's just say, the Irish server, right? So, I'll connect to the Irish server, and I was just recently connected to it. So, that's why on my IP finder, it says that I'm in Ireland. But since I disconnected and I connected again, I'll actually be able to pick up a new IP address. So this is just some trivia in case you're not familiar with how VPNs work. Every time you turn off and on the VPN, you're going to get a new IP address. And sometimes that does help you out if you find that something isn't working properly. Maybe, you know, you're still experiencing some ping issues. You could be catching a bad IP address. So you know, here, if I refresh, you'll notice that it changes. And this could potentially be a better server for ping and gaming in general, as opposed to the one before. So this is just something to keep in mind. Another thing you want to keep in mind before launching Steam is making sure that you're connected to the best performing protocol with NordVPN, and that'll be the NordLynx protocol. Once you're connected to the best performing protocol and you're connected to the VPN server that is closest to your gaming server, which again, in this example, would be either the Irish or the UK server, then you can launch your Steam and head to settings and go to downloads and make sure that your download region is also the same. And from there, you'll be set to potentially have the best ping possible that you can get out of a VPN, especially that NordVPN is actually a very high performing VPN. Now, if you want to get bot lobbies with a VPN, then you probably want to just connect to the countries when it's less likely that a lot of players are playing and your lobby is more likely to be filled with bots than human players, which makes it a little easier to play if you're a less competitive player and you just want to relax and have a nice game. So I'm going to cut this video short. I don't want to make it too long. But if you're interested in NordVPN or any of the alternatives that I mentioned, like Express or Surfshark, you'll find all the useful links in the description down below in case you end up getting any of these VPNs, since you'll be able to save a little bit of money. And if you want to learn more about them, you'll find all the reviews in the description down below. And drop your comments below if you have any of them, and I'll be happy to answer all of them. And the like and subscribe would actually help us out a lot. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.